What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete things from the database with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at deleting things from the database. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, we are almost done with this little Flask series here. We learned in the last video to update things. So if we got Steve here, we want to say, Steve, can change this to Steve Hill. Click update, boom, it's there. So what do we do when we want to delete something? So we want to get rid of Steve Hill completely. How do we do that? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. And it's actually a lot easier than update. We don't have to create... Like for instance here, we don't have to create a new page with a form and all the things. We just need a button on here that we can click and then it'll just delete the thing from the database. So let's head over to our code and in our app.py file, let's just go ahead and create a new route. So let's go at app.route and we wanna delete route. So let's point this to delete. And then just like with our update function right here, we need to pass an ID so we know which one to actually delete, right? So we do that with int colon ID and we do int because IDs are integers, one, two, three, 49, 700, whatever, whole numbers, so that will work. Okay, so that's our route. Now let's create a function, let's go define and let's call this delete and we wanna pass in our ID which comes from the URL itself, right? Right here, this gets passed, passed to the function and just like with our update route, we're just gonna grab this line here and paste it in. But instead of calling this friend to update, let's go ahead and call this friend to delete. You can call it anything you want. But again, we're gonna query our friends model, which is this guy right here, right? And we're gonna say query and then get or 404. 404 is an error, so if we can't get it, it'll throw an error. Uh, and then we're what do we wanna get? We wanna get that ID, which is coming from here, which is ultimately coming from the URL from the link that we're gonna to click to do that. So once we have our record that we wanna delete, now we just need to delete it. So we're gonna do a try accept block again. So let's go try, and I'm just gonna do this right now so we don't forget. All right, so what do we wanna try? Well, we need to delete that. So let's go db.session.delete. Now, what do we wanna delete? We wanna delete this friend to delete record that we've queried, and okay. So remember with databases, it's always a two-step process. You do a thing and then you save a thing or commit a thing. So uh, now we need to go db.session.commit and that's it. Now, if for some reason there's an error when we're trying to delete this, if we can't uh, look up the record or something goes wonky with the database connection, if there's any sort of error whatsoever, we need to return a little error message. So let's go return and let's say there was a problem deleting that friend, that thought. Okay, and that's good. Now, also in this try section, once we've actually deleted the thing, we also then need to um, return something. So we need to, let's say, redirect back to our friend page. So let's go return, redirect, and where do we wanna go? We just wanna go to friends. And that's the same thing we did down here with our update thing. So after we've deleted it, it'll just redirect it back to the same page. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this. Now we need to go to our friends.html file and we need to create a, a little button or something in order to delete this thing. So let's look through here. Actually, let's look at our page real quick. Right now we've got the name and then the update button. So if we look at this, we see here's the name and then here's the update button. And I'm just gonna copy this whole thing for the update button and let's paste this in. But instead of pointing this to update, we now wanna point this obviously to delete. Same thing, friend.id, right? So we're passing whatever ID that specific friend is. And then we give this a class of BTN, BTN outline secondary. For a delete button, it should probably be red. So I'm gonna use danger. And this is just a bootstrap button. So we could save this. Uh, and also we wanna make it small, so btn-sm. And if we come back over here real quick and head over to get bootstrap, we looked at these in the last video, but if you click on the documentation and then components and then buttons, 
you can see the different colors. So danger is red. And if you scroll down here, you can see, where'd we go? Can I pass it? Yeah, right here, these outline buttons, right? So I'm just copying basically this stuff right here for whichever color we want. We want red, that's danger, so we just copy this. And also to make it small, we just give it a BTN small. This is bootstrap, not terribly important, but that's where I'm getting that if you're curious. Okay, so let's look at this, delete friend ID. Okay, that looks good, so let's go ahead and save this and head back over here and hit reload and boom, now all of these have buttons, but they say update. So that, whoops, gotta change that. So right here, instead of update, let's delete, go ahead and save that. Now when we reload, okay, there we go. So let's get rid of Steve Hill, boom, just disappears, redirects back to the same page and uh, we can go nonsense, add it, update it. We can go no nonsense and then we can delete it completely and we're done. So. We went through this really quickly, but this is really all you need to create a CRUD application. If you're familiar with the term CRUD, create, read, update, and destroy. Almost every internet website, app, anything is based on CRUD. Create, read, update, and destroy. Think about anything, Twitter. What are you doing on Twitter? You're creating a post, C. You're reading a post, R. You're updating that post. Can you update Twitter? I guess you can't, but whatever. If you could update or you're deleting your, your tweet, right? Crud. Think about Facebook. What are you doing? You're creating a Facebook post. Somebody else is reading that post. You can update that post and you can delete that post. Crud. Everything on the internet is crud. And in the last, what, three or four videos, we flew right through how to create a crud application with Flask. And it was super, super easy. So to create the thing, you know, we've, we've got our ad name here to read the thing. Well, we're reading it right here on the page to update obviously right here and to delete boom right there pretty simple so once you understand these concepts really there's not much anything you can't do online right you can create the the next facebook with just this this crud now obviously there's more to it than that you know, facebook's a little more complicated than just simple crud but at its core everything is a crud you know uh instagram it's just crud you're creating a picture you're somebody else is reading that picture looking at the picture you can update your posts and you can delete them so everything on the internet is crud and you just learn with uh flask very very quickly how to do crud very easily with a basic sql database and i get questions well i don't like sql database can i use something else absolutely we're just using sql because it's simple and it comes with python you can easily use any other database and you don't have to change anything right you just need to in your app.py file, when you define your class, maybe these things right here might change a little bit, but maybe even not. It just sort of depends. And uh, you swap out a different database up here at the top and you're good to go, right? It's a little more complicated than that, but not much more. So maybe in the future, if people are interested, I'll talk about using different types of databases with Flask, but uh, super, super easy. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it, guys. And check out Codemy.com, where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So it pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.